Hi guys! So I just got back home from work. It is around half past four and I am in regular clothes now. No more scrubs. Actually, I do have two more weeks on ITU, but then after that we all change rotation. So I'll be starting cardio next. Um, but today, the reason I'm in regular clothes or not in scrubs is because I was doing the clinics. So normally for CMT, you have to do about 40 clinics per year. But because I'm on ITU now, I don't have any kind of regular clinics book like I'm not doing a particular speciality so I get to choose to go to any of the medical clinics that I want to and today I did the pre-dialysis clinic um, with one of the renal consultant it's such a good clinic but um, it's very emotional so I I wasn't really prepared for that I didn't know it was going to be so intense um, if you know what I mean. So I did kind of oncology clinics, I did palliative medicine and I had to do kind of like clinics in palliative medicine as well but um, this one is just a whole different ball game. It was actually very different, difficult to see. There were lots of patients from uh, as young as like 18 to patients as old as like 93, all kind of like in the pre-dialysis clinic, just talking about what kind of renal replacement therapy they would prefer. Um, there were also patients waiting on the transplant list and things like that. So it, it got very intense. And um, I, I would say that I really learned a lot today one of the things the consultant asked me was um, there was a patient who had a very high phosphate um, one of the things that you can one of the complications that you can get with um, renal failure is actually having a very high phosphate and um, one of the things that they do in the renal clinic is actually try and uh, manage that and try and bring your phosphate down Having a high phosphate is not very good, especially if you have a renal impairment because number one, it wrecks your bones, but not only that, it can also deposit in your vessels, so like your blood vessels and your coronary um, vessels, and it can cause kind of premature heart disease or coronary artery disease and that is the most important thing as well. We try and advise the patients to go on a low phosphate diet and if that is not enough then we have to kind of give them kind of phosphate binders so that is just an oral tablet that they'll have to take after meals um, to help with um, bringing down their phosphate levels in their blood. One of the things my consultant asked me today is what would you recommend to cut down if you want to advise a patient to go on a low phosphate diet and I didn't know the answer to this but I made an educated guess. Um, we don't do guesses in medicine, um, we only do educated guesses um, and I said dairy and milk and it was right. Um, so dairy and milk products contain a lot of um, phosphate so um, they should try and cut that down and I think certain types of fish as well has a high phosphate so they should um, cut that down as well. Um, but this patient, her phosphate was really high, it was like 2.7 or something so she needed to go on uh, phosphate binders um, which is not very nice to take it's very chalky so patients don't really like it so hopefully she'll only need to be on it for a few weeks and then we can um, check her phosphate again and try and stop it. 